Good morning, salutations. I am sitting outside this morning in my spot out here on the little farm and it is cold. These bluegrass Kentucky mornings are cold. It was like 42 degrees this morning. So um, I have had my tea and I am going tree hugging, let's go. Some of you may say, uh, tree hugging? What's tree hugging? Well, look it up. It's uh, one of my forms of almost like, let's, I'll just use the word medication. <laughs> so that's a good simile, I guess, medication. It's a form of therapy for me. I just think it makes me feel so good uh, to be close to nature. When I have a chance, even though it's cold this morning, I'll just flip them off and show you here. Hi, Hang Mama. On. Mama loves to claw at this big tree. And the shoes are off, feet are on the right, even though it's cold. Oh, it just feels good to get out here. Hang on. Hi, Mama. I love you, sweetie. Hi, sweet baby. Oh, she's my sweet girl. Yes, she is. We have four kitties that live outside here on the farm, and that's Mama she and her daughter and two granddaughters. So tree number one in this beautiful, this big ivy branch that's, look at the top of this tree. And I love to just get him and embrace him and give him a kiss and thank mother nature for its beauty and its shade. And it's been here so long. Okay, number two. The old artichoke post. We used to call these pineapples, but actually I was told by the stone, the mason, uh, sir, those are artichokes. This has been, been here a long, long time. Here's the one that we say has a face in it. You're gonna see, make your own face. The mouth, the nose, the eyes are kind of off. So let's give him a big hug too. Oh, I love you. Thank you for your shade and your beauty. You're welcome home every day. Oh, isn't she fabulous? Look what's creeping through the sun. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Even our little trees. This is our crepe myrtle. The flowers a few weeks ago were fabulous. So she even gets some love this morning. Our ghost hangs in our big ivy tree. Look at the little hedge apples are starting to, let's see if we can get in here. Oh, isn't it adorable? Big, beautiful tree. This one has been, I'm sorry, overtaken by ivy and is succumbing to time. It's so old. Mm. I love you. We're headed around the east side of our home big tree. He lives in some bark. This is one of the trees that holds our hammock in the summer. So you'll see a chain on him. Thank you. I love you. Beautiful tree. We lost a big tree to a storm in the spring, so that's the remnants that took part of the neighbor's fence down. The neighbors, that not like neighbors where there's a house, just a huge field and a little patch of wooded area. So anyway, this is our orange tree, by the way. And then this is a, oh, it just left me. This is one of my favorite trees to hug. It just feels so good. Mm, I love you. You're beautiful. Thank you. This is our little house, we call it, where we look, uh, cook a lot. Uh, we call it a fogon. And the corn is drying up. If anybody needs corn stalks, there's a lot of corn all the way over there, all the way through there. We have some enormous uh, squash growing gourds. We have three or four in there. Beautiful. Beautiful big bananas are getting beaten by some of these autumn winds. 
but we put up a lot of these for tamales in the winter time and we sell a lot of those too so anyway. one of the big trees that died we felled most of him but there's the remnants but we still love him he's beautiful isn't he and here's his what he left us lots of wood for the winter for cooking Oh, and there comes the sun again. Our loofah gourds are actually hanging on this tree. There's one. There are a couple there. I thought I would venture down here on the farm. Now this is the part of our lawn that we don't cut regularly because the chickens, the ducks, the geese, the turkeys, the guinea fowl, uh, even a few rabbits use this space, and it doesn't really grow grass in uh, overall. Now there are some, a few places that gets more get more grass. Pardon me, over there. Oh, look at the geese and the ducks. Good morning, everyone. There comes Carmelo. Hi, Carmelo. Anyway, back to this. Look at what we have. This is our, um, these are our quail. And we have lots of, and a, and a rogue pigeon. Get down, Carmelo, that hurts. Uh, we have a pair of dove pigeons that live in there. But, and we have tons of quail eggs and they make delicious cornbread, by the way. And down here we have some chickens. Come back off a little bit. Sorry, I was so close. Hello, good morning, everyone. Mm, it's wanting to uh, focus on the netting rather than chickens. I see a rabbit under that piece of wood. Look what I see right down here. Oh, hi, sweetie. <laughs> Little rabbit. And another kitty. Hi, sweetie. This is Rico. Hi, I love you too. Hi, Carmelo, I love you, baby. Here is our blue spruce. Feels so good, so soft. I love you. You are beautiful. We bought this about nearly 20 years ago and she is probably 35, 40 feet tall now. And I thought I would come over here and Love on our beautiful weeping willow that grows that way because that's where the morning sun comes. And our pecan trees shadow the willow in the afternoon. So she goes that way instead of up and down. Hello there. I love you. Mm. It's beautiful. Of course, it's even more beautiful and full in the summertime, but autumn is here and these cold nights are getting her. Hi there. Hi there, everyone. <laughs> are you following me? Pecan tree. Beautiful, enormous pecan tree. Probably 60, 70, I don't know, 80 feet tall. Beautiful pecan tree. Can we have some geese? Hello, good morning everyone. Hello. Tell me, kitty, 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 I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, I love you. You're my sweet baby. Sorry for baby talking everyone. Some of you are probably like, will you please? Okay, this is from the back side of the garden. A brush pile, bananas, corn, and our view over the field, the neighboring field. It is beautiful out here today. I hope you have an opportunity at some point to at least, you know, walk to the mailbox or walk around your lawn, go to the city park, or go out on the countryside. Enjoy these autumn days wherever you are. Even if you're in the city, break away and get to the local nursery where there's potted plants and 
things. So, and I hope you enjoy bringing things in soon. It's going to be uh, time to bring patio and porch things in the house soon. Oh, get your back in order. This is our chicken house. Some extra chicken cages and our. It hasn't been painted in years, but still, I thought I would show you in here. Hi, darling. Roost. Are some of our young chicks. Good morning. I know I'm not supposed to be in here. It's found on the way back. This is like wrought iron. It's very heavy. And it looks like, I mean, it looks like it could, it's probably not a nail. Is it some part of an old door or something? I don't know. Maybe you know. Anyway, I'm going to wash it off. Well, I have made it back to the patio from tree hugging, and it always feels good. I'm serious. Uh, for those of you who are like, what? Tree hugging? That's also used occasionally as a derogatory term for people who are environmentalists, etc. But uh, I'm not using it in that way, of course. Uh, I did look up something here. I'll read this to you. Hugging trees is excellent for our health. And it says simply, when you hug a tree, you release a hormone called oxytocin. And it is a hormone that some scientists say um, reflect love, trust, that warm, fuzzy feeling that we can get, even like from hugging a person sometimes. Um, causes feelings of calmness, emotional bonding. You can go online and read about it strength, power, support, grounding, that makes sense. So anyway, tree hugging, and I tree kiss a little bit too. Um, back to what I said earlier, I hope you get an opportunity to be outside some today. Look at this Old Navy, and when I say Old Navy, I mean old. I got this forever ago when Old Navy was first a thing. And even though it's really huge on me, I still pull it out because I used to be quite a bit bigger than I am now, but I still pull it out because it is so comfy. So um, get the sweatshirts out, people. Get the sweaters and the, what do, you, what do they call them? Leggings, <laughs> for those of you that wear the leggings. Uh, it's time, I think we're gonna have to give these up soon, the flip-flops and the sandals. It's about time to get rid of those for a few months. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this day. I am going to be putting on some more cooking, some more recipes soon, and we may do find another fun storybook to read. I got some messages that some of you enjoyed that, so I hope you're enjoying you know, just a little bit of me and my surroundings and a few things that I do. And we need to do some music soon. Most of you know I am a musician, a pianist, so we'll do some music soon. And I hope you have a great day, a great noontime, and a great evening. Sleep like a baby when it comes time. Love you, bye. I did wash this off. I have no idea what that is. Does anyone know what that is or what that could be? You know, look at the end on it. It's not a nail, so I don't know. Gosh, these freckles. The sun has really freckolated me.